marking can be a very daunting process. And the reason for that is there's, um, it's very hard to know how to do them and usually you're already stressed going to a competition, going to a show. So um, we find a solution for you and with the brush you can just make them very easy without any problems. How this brush works, it's a very soft um, horsehair brush but at the same time it's very dense. If you put your hand on it you can hardly move it and this is what makes this brush unique and ensures that the whole process is made very simple and easy. How to do them? Uh, hopefully you'll be able to just copy me and you'll get exactly the same result. So with the brush, first of all, you need to go all over the body to ensure that the coat is sitting as close to the skin as possible so it's very smooth and this brush really um, helps you with that then when you want to do the quarter max you just press against the coat and slide it down now we're going to go to the part where you're going to um, do the quarter marks you're going to press against the coat as much as you can. The easiest to start is to go right above the hip bone because that's where usually saddle and um, hard finishings here. Give a little bit of space so you can make the horse look lovely. And then you start here going right to the middle of his bum. Number one down. Then you look where the tail is finishing, maybe half a hand higher and start your second one. Those two will make the bum um, look rounder, but if you want to make your bum look bigger, also add the middle strap. Having finished the first part at the top, it's very good to finish it off and um, lie it off for the next shark's teeth. So you just brush it all off and it nicely cuts it off and ensures that you can start your shark's teeth. after you soften the bum, the bum it's really easy so you pull it right up and then you go down so think of the spacing where you want them to um, have them the first one is not as important you just go up now you need to think where would you like your shark teeth to start I usually like them quite big so I usually put like a hand in between uh, the hip and here <laughs> To do the next one, think of the space you want in between, so they are all symmetrical. With horses that have a bit of a fat, that's what happens, there are wrinkles. And actually this is very good for you to see, because then you know you need to go a little bit higher and go down again. This is two, I usually do three, so do one more. And when the wrinkles happen, just keep going, don't worry about this, and go down. Final one to really show off the um, end of the bum and really makes it nice and round and big, is to start right by the tail and do like a half circle down. When you do them on both sides, it's always good to do one right in the middle just with the edge of the brush.